Smoke has cleared, but the damage remains. Charred metal behind a massive fire on Chamberlain Parkway, destroying buses and a maintenance garage used by Richmond Public Schools. 8 News reporter Olivia Jacob joins us live in Richmond after looking into what this will cost the school division. Olivia, you were told they're insured for the buses and the contents of the garage up to a certain point. Yeah, Deanna, the interior of that garage, those contents insured up to $250,000, I'm told. And I'm standing just outside that garage. The damage from yesterday still so clearly visible just behind this fence here. Now, school authorities turning their attention to how they're going to be getting students where they need to be and finding a new repair site as quickly as possible. Now, with so much of RPS's school bus fleet left untouched by yesterday's fire, I'm told that transporting students for some Summer school really is not going to be an issue here, but the concern is finding five new school buses, which they'll be battling supply chain issues to try to get those in time for the upcoming school year, which is just a few weeks away. Scorching flames and clouds of smoke. This was a scene yesterday morning on Chamberlain Parkway, where Richmond Public Schools leases a repair site for its school buses. Corey Webb caught the incident on camera. The fire's coming out the building, and the tank exploded and everything. It was crazy. It was about three explosions. Five buses destroyed beyond repair. This view from the 8 News drone showing the charred remains. Documents show each bus will likely cost about $80,000 to replace. Superintendent Jason Camera saying they are covered by insurance. We need to find uh, another garage to be able to do our repairs as, as quickly as possible. So we're already working on that as we speak. Um, and uh, look, we'll continue to adapt and rise to the moment as we always do. However, according to school board member Jonathan Young, the concern is getting new buses in time for the start of the next school year and finding a new repair site as soon as possible. Back in 2014, an audit recommended that Richmond schools should stop using this lease site after purchasing a $1.1 million facility on Belt Boulevard 10 years prior. However, Young says the school division continued to spend nearly $2 million to service its fleet each year, including the cost of this lease. Today, that site on Belt Boulevard houses the majority of the school division's more than 200 buses. Now, Young tells me with yesterday's devastating fire, the circumstances surrounding that property on Belt Boulevard have certainly changed. They may be looking at it as a potential site for repairs. Another option, he says, is actually outside the city in another nearby locality. He said that could be, again, used as a potential repair site. Now, we are expecting more information to come out of a July 18th school board meeting. But for now, stick with us on air and online for the latest updates. Reporting live in Richmond, Olivia Jaquist. 8 News.